and that's me. Uh, I am Adrian Coder, and today, this short bit that I am putting together is actually not about code, but about OBS, the tool that I stream with to actually get code out to you to show you what I'm doing here on Twitch. So anyway, I just set up a new machine. It's Mac OS this time, instead of what I've traditionally been using, uh, Linux. Now, don't worry, Linux is not gonna be going away. I'm still gonna be doing a lot of work with Linux. I do a lot of work with Linux, Kubernetes, uh, Docker, Go, JavaScript, Node.js, Python, C Sharp, C++, a whole slew of things. I'm, I'm a crazy, psychotic, polyglot person, so I write in a bunch of languages. I like to do it that way. Um, I use the right tool for the right job, hopefully. That's my intent, at least, in learning and knowing a lot of these languages. And what I'm going to be doing to show you the languages, along with a bunch of other things, is using this crazy new setup that I've got going. And here you can see the massive widescreen above. Now I have Pretzel right here. I have I show you audio capture installed because it's a freaking Mac and the audio is all freaking weird. Um, and in here, I also have my CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 audio because I have that device. I'll s slide over here and show you. There's the CalDigit 3. It's plugged in, so I only have one USB connecting to the Mac. That's the only thing that's connected to the Mac. Nothing else gets connected. You can see here on both sides. There's the third monitor that I have going on. But the two that I use is this one, as you see above. Um, and then, of course, this one, right? This is my second monitor where I'll launch things like JetBrains Rider or whatever else I need. Of course, it does weird things like launch on this screen, and it's a little crazy. But the main purpose of this video is to show you some very specific things that I have set up in a weird configuration like this. In Mac OS, you have to be very, very, very specific about how to set up things so that you can do things like you hear me with this mic. This is my Rode Podcaster mic, or if you're using a different mic, you need to have things set up exactly like this. And this is very detailed for a reason. Um, so this right here, the audio devices setup needs to specifically have the I show you audio capture and then whatever the audio device is that I'm using to have sound played through. This is what my he headphones are attached to, these headphones. So to get audio in these headphones, I have to have drift correction and I have to check use under the audio devices and I have to select the master device specifically to I show you audio capture, okay, like that. Now with all that set, and let's see here, we'll pull up pretzel and we'll go ahead and get some audio going here. All right, so, you should be able to hear that just fine. I can control it in the interface, OBS interface, just like that, so I'll crank it up, turn it down, whatever. Um, I'm gonna keep it right here at negative 20. That should be okay in the background. Now this volume, of course, is autonomous of that, if I crank it up, this next piece is going to be super freaking loud, uh, as we'll see. See, already it bounces in, and it's pretty loud. So remember, audio is, again, dual parts. This is autonomous of the OBS stuff. The OBS is kind of like a master. So these three setups here, though, the mono track you see is the Rode Pod Podcaster. Audio 2 is the CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 audio. Okay, I have it in here even though it is not currently playing out, okay? Because there's an output device in there that it can do too. And I can control the volume here if I plug it in. But otherwise, I have to pick the I show you audio capture here also. So these are my three set up on Mac OS as the output audio, right? Output and input audio because, I don't know, OBS on Mac is really freaking weird. So with those selected, with this set to this, and then one more thing, this set here in sound, 
I go in and I select the multi-output device, which means use this thing, okay? So again, since my headphones are plugged into the CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 audio device, and drift correction is set to on, I hear the music and you hear the music. I can control it in OBS then, and this has to be set to multi-output device. So the Mac doesn't worry about any of all this stuff, it just dumps all the audio out to all of those things, okay? Now of course, note, I didn't pick the monitor ultra wide, which is the screen that you see right here above. Um, I did not pick the Rode Podcaster because it's not an output device. This is an input mic device. And the MacBook Pro speakers, I don't want the audio out to the speakers. You, if you click this, the audio will go out to the speakers. With the Rode Podcaster, there's a, there's a little thing right here where you can collect, connect another headphone. Like I could use the, the mic to do the monitoring for this, but then I hear my voice on Max too. Um, and so you can check this and the audio will go out to the headphones. So anyway, this is how I have my audio configured on this particular setup that you see displayed here for Twitch sessions. I hope that was in some way moderately useful and I hope the music wasn't too damn loud. Anyway, I will be live later doing things. Here's the outro. Until next time, cheerio.